What is happening everybody, my name's Seven and welcome to a brand new Fortnite video. If you enjoy this, hit subscribe, hit that like button and I hope that this helps you. Now I'm going to show you a bunch of basic builds that you can actually use in the game. Some are obviously more complex than others, but these ones starting off with are going to be the ones that you can just do when you're in a panic and you need quick shelter. So the first one is definitely the panic walls. You need to use these without a doubt. I advise using wood or brick because metal takes a long time to build. What you do is you have it set so that these walls walls are very easily clickable while you're running you might be getting shot in the back it might be as you're running at the zone you want to place panic walls so literally place a wall run behind it place a wall run behind it use these as points of hp so by actually doing this you're going to give yourself a longer life and you might even be a survivor situation you'd normally die in so that's tip number one now let's get into the actual builds themselves don't worry about it i'll be showing you everything you need to make now this is what i call a panic ramp what you want to do is place one wall or two walls it's entirely up to you and you what you do is this is your defense and then you place ramps on top now this ramp allows you to of course have that height advantage on your opponent because of the perspective in the third person you're able to peek over and have a look now if you want to defend your backside of course put walls all the way around this as well and it doesn't even have to be a double ramp you can just have a single ramp as well sometimes i prefer the single ramp and it is also a lot quicker but of course if you're playing in duos you and your mate might want to actually build right next to each other and this is also something you can expand on which i'll show you a few examples of that in in just a moment so if we quickly build one of these single ones together all you want to do is make yourself a square just like this and place one ramp inside now this is mega quick as you've seen and if you practice this you'll even be able to get it faster and it gives you a mass advantage over in a gunfight now if you do put a back to this I advise definitely putting the door on it for as long as you're confident that the back side is the safest place. Now the reason for this is if you get into a gunfight where somebody uses grenades you will need to place a roof over the top of yourself either to give you a little bit more time to heal or to be able to defend yourself and then you use the door to escape from this build. It's also very easy to be able to expand and build ramps that lead high into the sky. You can build staircases from this build if you wish. Of course this is a very dangerous player but there's another thing you can do as well just for the smaller building and if you've got lower materials it's just build one ramp around each of the sides and this will allow you to kind of dip back down at the hole and also jump up onto the sides if you want to and because it's so low if anyone does destroy this you'll drop down fine and if you've left the door you will run straight back into your build and once again it's very easy you can go back into your build and place a roof on at any point to defend yourself whether it's someone playing aggressive you're damaged or someone is firing or throwing grenades at you let's take a look at our second design now this second design is what I call a cove or a double ramp it's entirely up to you whichever one you want to call it or something else what you do is you build two walls on either side and then a closing wall and you build two ramps on the inner side one facing outwards on both sides so what you want to do is face the ramp towards the actual zone so where the zone will be going and then the outer zone as well in this case I didn't do that but in a battle sense you want to do that so that you've actually got the perfect direction of looking where the ramps are placed now you can do so many different other things things as well with this if you're in a team you can also expand it so that you do double ramps and you just corner everything off as well it's entirely up to you how you want to do this but of course the fastest way to do it for solo play is definitely just use the two ramps instead of the four but if you're playing in duos or in team this is spot on it means you can look at every different direction it's a quick build and it allows you also to be able to expand if you want to say for example someone throws grenades in your way you're like oh no we need we need some kind of you know larger base or you need some more defense or you need to be a little bit higher higher upwards you can build platforms and walls around the outside place windows and doors and all of this will help definitely to get you into that position where you have the tactical advantage over your enemies you can also use the the, the actual uh, process that we used last to build more ramps as well as you go higher and then also allow to leave like over covered sections with little small roofs so that you can drop down and if you need to you can heal and you've got a little bit of roof protection i definitely like using this tactic instead of just allowing everything to be open it's really great especially if someone uses a grenade launcher against you you can take this design and make it as complex as you want you can place windows on the second floor you can even build a third floor if you want you could expand and have uh, actual ramps going all the way around the outer side to give you another tactical advantage it's entirely up to you what you do with this build but the basis of it is so that you can see in two different directions allowing you to be able to fight against your enemies giving you that tactical advantage being able to have that peek over them when they actually don't have a build moving on to our third design now this one is a little bit more long-winded but this design is solid and there's a reason for this what you want to do is you want to build a pair of ramps so what you want to do is start off by placing 
two sets of ramps that go upwards and build a pair right next to each other just like this. I had to place three because of course the ground was like that. When you get up to the top, you want to place a set of four actual floors. And then what you want to do is on either side of this, you want to repeat what we just did with the ramps. So rotate your ramps and place them going down so they connect to the floor. The reason you do this is so that when anyone comes along to this little fort, they are able to obviously shoot maybe one or two of the legs off. But instead, they're going to have to actually go against having a ton of them. They're going to have to take out potentially eight different legs to prevent themselves from getting destroyed by you while you're in the fort. All you need to do after that point is on this base is just make yourself a set of walls going around. Now each of these walls you can finish your build here if you want to and put windows in specific ones and then place ramps if you want to or you can put um, you can also put roofs on as well it's entirely up to you but what I like to do is use the design we used prior and place four ramps inside. Now this gives you a massive advantage and you can look around or if you want to you can build even higher and give yourself even more of an advantage over your enemies. It depends on the situation Situation. but as you can see this is a very well designed fort because it's connected so well to the ground it's not going to be very easy to destroy and it's perfect as well for anyone who wants to build to expand outwards say for example you're just out of the zone or the zone's not too far away you can build doors on that second floor using instead of windows and then these floors will then build to turn into platforms that lead outwards I also find doors because they take up two squares are a lot better than just using windows if you want to get more coverage and as I said uh, as I said just before with the floors you're able to do this very easily and expand outwards now this will allow you to quickly go out and be able to build upwards without impacting too much of a uh, you know anyone who's on the uh, floor below so if you're playing in a team this is great and it allows you to go up to a second floor and you can do the same thing again you could actually do this a couple of times allowing to say for example two to four people actually have their own floor so you could go okay I'll have bottom floor second third and fourth and you can build a tower out of this fort giving a player each a floor and a direction to focus on and it's entirely up to you how you design this but this fort is definitely solid and it is much better to build this out of metal but you're going to need some decent resources so definitely go and collect them before you actually do anything you can also use this technique here i'm showing you where once you've built a platform outwards you can also i ran out of wood unfortunately you can build out through the doors and, and extend and build these small little balconies and you can do this on all sides as well if you wanted to so it's a really really cool design like i say it's a solid fort you can pretty much do anything that you want with this fort for as long as you built that solid base with the, the legs then you'll be able to do anything you want build the highest tower you wish build as outwards as far as you want to as long as you've got those legs you're going to be able to use those to your advantage for the final build of this video i'm going to be showing you a sniper tower now this is my favorite by far i love this one and perfectly i also found a bolt action sniper so we're already set to go the game knew that i was going to try and design this now you want as much of the resource you can possibly get if you can get loads of brick and then save your metal for the top section that's fine but of course it's much easier for me to, to give you the example of this build by using wood what you want to do is build small sections of four just like this and for each section you want to place a ramp what you want to do then is to run up on the opposite side of it and this is the mistake a lot of people make and if you don't move and jump with your teammates correctly they will get trapped below so what you want to do is jump and place the ramp and then build four walls around again go to the highest point of the ramp and literally repeat this process over and over again until you get to the highest point that you want to be you can go about three levels up and that means you're pretty much safe to jump out without losing too much health if you go any higher of course you are pretty much committing suicide but it is a sniper tower we can't just go three sets up we're gonna have to go as high as we possibly can and in this video as you can see i just keep on building and building and building and i think i end up making like 10 sets of stairs so it's, it's something along those lines it's absolutely crazy i'm not sure what the limit is but if you've ever built a staircase up into the sky you can go to those heights with this sniper tower so if you and your mates are playing in squads or even in duos and you've both got maxed out uh maxed out wood you're gonna be able to build this to like a stupid height even if you just want to do it for fun but of course i'll show you in a moment what you want to do when you get to the top because when we get to the top it's really important that you follow a similar design otherwise it's not going to be a very effective sniper tower like in the previous fort build what you want to do is obviously place flat floors and you want to use the metal if you can to place like a roof and even if you want to if you've got enough metal you can also use the windows at the top section to be metal as well this gives you a better advantage if someone tries to snipe you back while you're sniping out of this tower now that we have our bolt action as you can see here's a tester when you get to the top of the 
tower you can actually just look out of these four different windows that you've got and if it is metal you've also then got a high chance of you know protecting yourself if you manage to get hit for any reason at all then you could just hide in one of these corners put some bandages on your med packs anything like that and of course as you can see from this height you can see very very far now I now never managed to see anybody because of where I actually placed it but as an example if someone did push or they were causing damage all you want to do is smash one of the walls out rotate a pair of stairs and just build down now this is of course the disadvantage if you built too high because you are gonna of course gonna have to have more resources spare to be able to get down otherwise you'll drop and take damage from that but in a moment I'll show you what's gonna happen we're just gonna pick up these ammos and you can see how high this tower is but just imagine if you had the resources you could go even higher and you can also if the zone does hit this tower build outwards instead of building down and lead this into what you would consider a sky base I hope that this video has helped you and I hope some of these designs inspire you to go into game and build more go crazy use these to your advantage and defend yourself because building this game is so crucial thank you for watching my name's b7 also known as martin woods that i can call him and all that you love have fun building guys peace